What's up, Four C gang? Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Comedian Michael Allen, where we do cooking, comedy, cuts, and cocktails. What? Don't judge me, judge your motherfucking self. What up, what up, what up, my 4C gang? This is your boy, Cook with Comedian Michael Allen. Look, y'all, I am making, today what I'm going to make is I'm going to make some, half of it's going to be fried ribs, the other half is going to be barbecue, because I have a taste for both. So, see, I got one big old rib here. You see that? One big old rib. So, the first thing I want to do is, I'm going to pour... I just want to get that off right quick. Hold on. You want to go in here. I don't know if you guys can see it. But anyway, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to cut. Hold on. Let me get a... Let me get a knife. Because I'm about to go in here. And I'm just going to do a little slit in here to get up under this... I Get this skin off of here. See, right here. Try to get all of that little. Sometimes it come off easy. Sometimes it don't. Okay, you see this? This, that right there is what I'm taking off this back part. That membrane. That's tough. I want to get it all. How y'all doing today? I just thought I'd do y'all two videos today. One on me cooking and one on me eating. Now look, you can actually take a piece of paper towel and it'll help you pull it off even better. But i become so used to this that it just... I'll see that. And whenever I'm barbecuing, this is I'll throw this fat and stuff on top of my charcoal. Gives it much flavor and helps it cook a lot longer. That's just what I do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got all that off. I'm glad about it. counter. I clean my counter with my wipes. But in order for you guys to really be able to see what it is that I'm doing. Y'all see that? So, like this part, I don't like that little extra fat there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut that off. I don't want to cut no meat because I love my meat. Okay, you see this little black, black part? I cut this off as well. And for whenever you're cooking on the grill, it helps your meat to lay down flat. See that? That's some good old, that's some good meat right there. You see that? 
Nice. I'm gonna barbecue that part. Okay, so let me. Okay, so now, and then you would go through here and pull off any fat that you see on there that you may not want. And that's what I do. I pull up all my fat. You gotta go through here and clean your your rib. I love meat. I love meat. Y'all see this? Y'all see the little fat in here? And you really now I'm gonna tell you this. Because I'm because I'm um Because I'm going to boil the ribs a little bit for the barbecue. Whenever I'm not doing them outside, I boil them a little bit. Or you can even boil them in the inside. Let's get some of that fat off of there. But some fat is good. I, I must say, I like fat. Okay, I'm gonna rinse this one more time, then it'll be time to season. Well, let me take this one glove off. Um, bam. Just one moment, I'll be right okay, back. Okay, you guys. See my little sandy cloth wipes? They are so perfect for cleaning surfaces off. It has bleach in it as well. And they use this in the hospitals. Okay. Of course, you know I gotta have a cocktail as usual. Mmm. Okay. So now I have it all rinsed off. Let me put on another glove here. That's why it's so good to have a big old box of gloves. I just stayed in the house all day today, y'all. I have not even... I have not went outside. Can you guys believe that? Okay. So, I'm going to season this. Okay, which, which way do I want? Let me see. Mm, one, two, three. Let me just cut it in half down the middle first. Two halves here, right? So I'm trying to figure which one do I want to make for the. I think I'll make this one for the the um, fried ribs. You know what? I should have bought me two ribs, and I'll do this one for the barbecue. So since I'm doing this one for the fried ribs, I'm going to go ahead and cut these down in individual. That's one bone. Oh, 
Thrones. Somebody out there blowing. Okay, so the cut is the last one. So, y'all see that I got one, two, three, four, five, six bones that I'm gonna fry. And I have six that I, I'm going to do. But with this one, I'm just going to parboil it. Oh, and I will be. I don't know if I'm going to fry that piece yet or not. Okay, but. So what I'm going to do is. I'm just going to take this whole side and put it in some water and boil it for a couple of hours. About two hours. Okay, and this piece is here. I can season up. I'm not going to put any seasoning on that meat yet that I'm, it's just regular water and I'm going to boil it for a couple of hours. That's what I'll do. Just one moment so I can say, there's some pepper, some coarse sea salt, a little cayenne pepper. Trying to get all my seasons. Okay. All right. So now that I got that other half on, and it's just boiling, I think I'm gonna make me some. Uh... Hold on, you guys. I have to look up here because I'm so short. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh... Here we go again. All right. So, what I'm going to use now is I got some adobo goya. See that, y'all? I'm going to season liberally. We all know what liberally, liberally is, right? Okay. Uh. Of course, we're going to put some garlic powder. Okay. We're going to put some lemon pepper. We're going to put a little bit of Tony seasoning on there. A little bit of celery salt. And pepper to give it a little, give it a little kick. Some regular black pepper. Okay, and then I'm going to use some coarse sea salt. I could have used seasoned salt. I'm not going to use seasoned salt because I'm using this coarse sea salt. Okay. All right. I love coarse sea salt. I love it. So now, oh. One thing, y'all know I cannot do anything without a pack of, without some of my Goya. Y'all see that Goya? Sasson, I should say. Sasson, Sasson. As my sister tried to say, Saison, but it's a Sasson. Okay. So now, I'm going to just rub that meat. You got to rub your meat real good. 
Gotta rub that meat real good, y'all. Okay. And with that, what I'm gonna do is, I wanna let this meat get room temperature and just let it sit. And just let that meat sit and hang out by itself there. And then I'm gonna start on my sweet potatoes. I think I'm gonna make sweet potatoes today. Okay. I am putting on some more gloves because I'm about to, I'm just cooking for myself today. So I'm gonna do a little shortcuts and but it's still gonna be delicious. I'm just starting on the sweet potato. I just got one sweet potato. These things here are such a blessing. I remember I used to hate to cook sweet potatoes because I had to, I hated peeling them. You know, I come up in an area where you had to do hard work. Everything is so easy now. These kids don't know nothing about no hard work. Now, I have a friend of mine who lives in Baltimore. Said they had never heard of um, sweet potatoes cooked on top of the oven. They've always had them cooked in the oven. And we've always cooked ours in the, on top of the stove. That's the way I was raised. But I may, you know what I may do? I just may cook mine. In the oven today. Okay. okay. So. Let me. I'm just getting some stuff together over here. Clean my knife off because I wanted to use the same knife. I'll wash it, but I should say. So I like to cut my quarter, quarter way thick. That's what you want. About that thick right there. You see that? So now, I think I want to cook these in the oven. And I am going to cook them in the oven. So I have a pan here that I just washed out. So let me put these over here and rinse these off real quick. I just watched somebody's video where they said, don't wash your chicken. I, you know, I'm so tired of hearing that. You know, I grew up washing chicken. And I it ain't killed me in all these years. So I ain't gonna stop now. Okay. So, here. Y'all may not can see, but y'all will see as I'm putting stuff in here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just put this whole butter in here. I wish I, you know, I broke my tripod, so I would, well, it's, I need to get it fixed. Just have it glued up. Okay. I got some butter that I'm putting in there. 
All right, all right, all right. Now, I'm putting some cinnamon. Oh, that's quite a bit, but it's, uh, I'm putting vanilla in here. Yes, yeah, let's, let's make it smell good. Okay. I'm putting some brown sugar up in here. sugar in here. Okay. And I have to get up here, you guys, because I can't ever see anything I want. Isn't that terrible? Hold on. All right. And last but not least, I'm going to put a little allspice in here. Okay, and I'm gonna put just a little teeny bit of water. Not even a lot, not even a lot, just enough to cover the bottom. I mean, you know, just so it won't stick. Okay, and I want you guys to see this. See that? You got butter. All of that. I'm gonna just let it do its thing. And I'm throwing it in the oven right here. Just throw it right in the oven. See that? I love that. I love that. I love that. I love it. Okay, but last but not least, I like to just put cherries in here. Just a little bit of the cherry juice. Just a little bit of that cherry juice. And just throw a couple of cherries in there just for color because it makes it look pretty. You know? Nothing wrong with a little cherry. What, y'all shocked that I like cherries? I busted a few cherries in my day. <laughs> okay, but I also want to put just a little dab more butter. I like, I know how mine is supposed to taste and I like the way it tastes. Okay, just two more, two more little dabs. Oh yeah, my food is very decadent. If you're going to eat food with me, baby, it's got to be decadent. Okay? Now, y'all see how that, you see the contrast of the cherries against the sweet potatoes? I like that. So now what I need to do is... I'm just covered up with the balloon for. I'm turning my oven on to 375. Yeah, I got my oven on 375. I'm just gonna plop this in here. Let that go. I'm gonna clean up a little bit, you guys. Take these gloves off because I'm done with them. Have me a cocktail. Now, I have some glory greens in the can that I'm going to use. But I'm going to... My glory greens in the can. Oh, let me wipe this thing off again. Uh, the only thing about the glory greens in the can that I don't like is I think they're over-seasoned. So I like to rinse my glory greens and, and re-season them myself. You get what I'm saying? There's some good greens, but they are. Uh, I tell you all, these are perfect for your house.
Now, you can also put, I should have put a little cayenne pepper on my, on my, um, sweet potatoes, just give it that spicy and thing. So yeah, I got collard greens. Normally I would make my own, but when you're in a rush like this, you just do this. Because I'll make some candy and some collard greens. I might make some rice and some cornbread. And I'm good to go for the day. That'll be a nice little good old quick dinner. Barbecue ribs, fried ribs, collard greens, sweet potatoes, maybe some fried, I mean some rice, and some cornbread. And we good to go. I'll be back. What up, what up, what up, my 4C gang? I'm just sitting here. I see. When you fry your ribs, you have to have your fire just right at the right height. So look, y'all notice I already floured my ribs. So I'm just going to reflower them. This is just a little flour with, I put a little baking soda in all of mine. Whenever I'm frying. Hold on, I'll let y'all see this in one minute. I'm just reflowering them. I'll put one more in there. I got my, oh shit, hold on, let me take this out for a minute, I have forgot all about my cornbread that's in the oven, hold on, I gotta, hold on you guys, I see that cornbread? Now, what I always do to my cornbread is I flip it. Y'all see that? I flip my cornbread. Uh, this homemade cornbread from scratch, baby. I don't know if anybody else ever flipped their cornbread. My mother, I was raised in a house where you flip your cornbread and you want to put butter all over it like this. I'll let it go in there for five more minutes. I'll flip it back and butter the other side. Take it out. I mean, flip it back, take it out, and butter the other side. Y'all see that? Okay, we're going to let that go back in there. I got my, I got my ribs in the oven. Hold on one minute. Uh, my greens are done. My rice. It's doing its thing. Am I the only one that likes onions on my greens? I love onions. Okay. Okay, now that my rice is at a boil. I'm turning my rice down real low. And we're gonna put a cover over it. Alright. Okay, for the game. See? You see how I got the ribs just going really, really slow? That's all you need. That's all you need for them to just go really slow like that. Because you have to have some Give them time to cook all the way through. Now here is this is some candy yams for how good they look. Uh, just took them out the oven. That's those collard greens going. Mm -hmm. Okay, just wait, waiting on my cornbread and my barbecue that's in the oven. Okay, now as you can see, I took the cornbread back out. I'm gonna flip it. The cornbread is nice and done. It looks delicious. Look at that cornbread, y'all. Not like some good old homemade buttermilk cornbread.
stuff. Yeah. Yes, cornbread, baby. Okay. Okay, y'all. I'm almost. I'm almost ready to eat. I'm tired. I'm having cocktails. So, just waiting on my rice. Waiting on the barbecue ribs in the oven. Finish frying up the rest of these ribs, then I can get ready to eat. Peace out. Okay, love my. My fry ribs are almost done here. Let me check on the, the other rib. Oh Lord, don't that look good. Don't that look good. Ah! Oh, but I just burnt myself. I need some new um, mittens. So my cornbread is ready, my rice is done, my Okay, y'all. Yeah. Okay, so. What up, what up, what up, my 4C gang? Welcome to another episode of With Your Boy, Cooking with Comedian Michael Allen, where we do cooking, comedy, cussing, and cocktails. Cooking, comedy, cussing, and cocktails. Cooking, comedy, cussing, cocktails. Hey! What's going on? What's going on, my people? What's going on, my people? Look, y'all. Oh, today I did it. I did it good, y'all. I went up in that kitchen. I really didn't even mean to cook for a game, but look. We got some barbecue ribs. We got some fried ribs. Look at that. We got some rice. We got some sweet potatoes, candy yams, whatever you want to call them. Some cornbread. Look at that nice gold, golden cornbread. And some collard grit. Come on, somebody. Come on. Come Oh, my God. This is heaven. I made the barbecue from scratch. I should have showed you guys, but I showed you what I could. I went in the kitchen not even really to cook, but whatever I ended up, I came out with this. Come on, y'all, tell me. I ain't good. Tell me I'm not good. All right, y'all, you know, first and foremost, what I got to do? What I got to do? Dear Lord Jesus, I thank you, Father God. I thank you for this food. I thank you. I thank you for giving me the ability to be able to cook this food. I thank you for... Allowing me to have food to even eat, Father God. I thank you for allowing me to be able to swallow and chew like I'm supposed to, Father God, because it could be something wrong with that. I just thank you. I thank you for everything that's right, Father God. I thank you for everything that's not going right. Father God, I just thank you, Lord. I thank you for all that you do. Father God, I thank you for my friends. I thank you for family. I thank you for my enemies, Father God, because without them, I wouldn't know how good you were, Father God. I thank you. I thank you most of all, Father God, for my mother and father that I still have them here. And every day that goes past, Father God, it's not a minute that I don't thank you for. Father God, it's not a minute that I don't appreciate. It's not, I know how blessed I am to still have them both, dear Jesus. I thank you. Oh, Father God, I thank you. I thank you. In your son, Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. All right, y'all. I'm ready to eat. Okay, mm, I think I need to take a, hold on, ah. 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 Oh, let me take this, my sister keeps telling me how to look, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, one. All right. Just look at that. Oh. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, yeah, I'm truly hungry. All right. 
I'm like, bro, I'm gonna get. Mmm. Look at that. Mmm. It's still smoking. And the season, ah. Mmm. Yeah. Mm. Can y'all see that smoke? Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. I am loving them. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah, my food. Um. So what's going on, my people? What it do, what it do, what it do. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. I'm catching it now. So, <laughs> I'm sure you guys saw my video. I'm, um, crazy girl. She called me like eight or nine times. Well, she called me about four or five times. I didn't know she was that crazy. But, <laughs> she picked the right one. Y'all know I don't give a damn. I really don't. I didn't know. She was brutal. <laughs> How you gonna try to let somebody have it <laughs> for beating cancer? She better be careful if you put her mouth on. Mm -mm. Like we ne we never ne even knew who she was. Okay. But, um, um. Now when I tell y'all this is so delicious. When I was growing up, my mama didn't make fried bread. We yeah, never even heard of it. I would have been frying real baby. Mm, 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 mm. Now, these glory green, they'll do if I'm in a hurry. need to learn how to cook. Why? Mm. I'm just taking it. I'm going to cut all of that on there, y'all. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Look at that. Look at it, y'all. My God. Oh, my God. That is so good. Oh, mama. I'm gonna have to cook for my mama and my grandmama. I love them too, mama. Thank you, grandmama and grandmama. Mama and grandmama. Some of this rib, bro. So that good old rib. Oh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> mm. My God, I 
cook. Look at the bone just come right on out. Mmm. Mmm. Gonna put me right a bit. Somebody better snatch me up while they, while I'm single. Uh huh. Better snatch this up while you can. Mm hmm. Oh my God, y'all. I'm not even trying to cook like that. All oh, that cornbread. Okay. Okay, I hooked them greens up, y'all. I need a little sugar for my grit. I mean, I'm giving my grit for my rice. What? Don't judge me. Judge your damn self. I like rice and butter. I mean, sugar and butter on my damn grit. I mean... Okay, y'all, I'm still hungover from yesterday. Y'all know I'm always hungover, ain't I? Oh, yes, baby. <gasps> Ooh, excuse me. I'm such a pig. Y'all know what? I love when I can just go in the kitchen and cook up some stuff. Like I'm supposed to. Mmm. Ain't nothing like start. Mm. Okay. What, y'all? I got onions in my green. Mm. Look at that nice cornbread, y'all. Look at that cornbread. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all, this is the bomb. Mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. People be going to the restaurant paying all that money for them. Look, I got the rib on sale for $6. And some time. I already had the rice. I already had the cornmeal. The greens was two dollars for the can, dollar ninety nine. And sweet potato, sweet potatoes are like eighty something cent. That's a cheap meal. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, I'm getting sleepy while I'm eating it. My God. That's so good. Yeah. It's a fried rib. Mm. Mm -hmm. My God, you no. Know. Who would have thought? I want to give my grandmother ever try fried real because I don't. She would have made them. She never made fried real. Oh, I miss my grandmama cooking so much. And I tell the story all the time. Mm. The first thing that she ever let me help her cook was collard greens. She taught me how to pick them. <laughs> I sat there and picked them. Oh, I thought I was doing something. Mm. 
Hol van mi szóval már? Hmm. She only lived to 56. And now that I'm 51, that wasn't even a long life. Because if I was to die right now, there's so much stuff I still want to do and see. Lord, give me longevity, Jesus, please. Mm. Mm. No, oh, this is so good. Mm. Why don't you tell them? Mm -mm 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 -mm. so glad that when God made her, created her, I'm going to make it so where they have to eat, they need food. You know what? My God, this is so good. Mm. I would do great so. Oh, shout out to, um, let me do a shout out to, um, a couple of people. Mm. Okay, first of all, let me shout out to, uh, To mom, thank you for hitting me up. Thank you for your blessing, mom. On my cash app, dollar sign comedian three one three. Thank you, mom. That's what it says, mom. And I don't, and Margaret again, Margaret Gaffney, 
and PJM. Thank you guys again. And I love you guys because PJM has, and mom has, looked, I mean, blessed me a couple of times. Thank you, Jesus. Of course, my sister, Pilly Phil, she always doing her thing. Um, my girl, Pisir in the Waits, all of y'all who has ever helped a brother out, thank you. I'm in some logistics right now. That's why you don't see any commercials on my channel. It is what it is. But God is making a way anyhow. Anyhow. Mm -hmm. Won't you do it? When you have people like that that do not mind that hard-earned money that they work for. You know? And I really, truly appreciate that. Okay, I don't have to do it. Mm -mm. But oh, this cornbread is so. Oh my God, I can cook. Oh, I can cook. I can cook. I can cook. Thank you, Grandmama. <laughs> I watch my Grandmama. See, a lot of kids don't pay attention to the old folk no more. A lot of people do not pay attention to the old folk. I pay attention. I listen. You know, I was um, on my way to the store the other day, and I was walking past this one corner. And... Now, mind y'all, every day when I walk that way, because I love to go through the park, you know. It's a white guy out there. Oh, the white man. I say, how you doing today? Hey, hey, that's all. Hey. You know, sometimes you just get old and get stuck in your way, so. But at least he speak back. So I'm walking past the house. It seems like he's always out there no matter when I go past. So I'm out there and I see him and his wife, and he's helping his wife up the stairs. She's on a cane. He's shaking. I mean, they're older couple. So, as I was walking past, she took a step back and almost fell. And I went to, you know, but he, you know, she caught herself. But I went. I almost went to run because I wasn't gonna let her fall. And I said, "Hi, are you guys all right?" He said, "You want to come help?" <laughs> he said. Are we all right? Do, do you want to help? I said, sure, I'll help, but no problem. And I helped him out. He said, thank you, but then you know this. I just know this. He's just an old white man setting his ways, and I had to check. I mean, he said, look, like, don't just stand there, damn it. Come help me. What you mean if we all right? You see, I'm having problems. Oh, I laughed, and I laughed, and I laughed. Oh, so not in my new friend. Whether he mean to me or not, I'm still be like, how you doing? And I walked away from there feeling so good that I was able to, you know, that God put me right there at that moment and that time to help them because she couldn't have got up from there. I grabbed her by her hips and I pulled her on up. Oh, they were really happy. And you know, you don't do things to expect nothing back, but that's how you get your blessing, just the little itty things you do. The little nice things you do for folk. You know, when somebody went hungry, and I, I'll give you a plate of food. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. So, y'all, this food is delicious. Do y'all hear me? I shouldn't have got, cut me such a big piece of barbecue, though. Oh, it's going to be good tomorrow. Do y'all hear me? Mm-hmm. Or later on tonight. What I'm talking about tomorrow. This, huh? I'm talking about tonight. I mean tomorrow. Knowing damn well I ain't gonna let this stuff say that on. All right, you guys. So look, tonight I'm really tired and poo. I might. I have another video I want to do. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting me. Thank you guys that cash at me once again. My heart is full. It, my heart is so touched for those people. You know. People, y'all really don't know. Sometimes it's, it's a struggle doing this for me, you know. But I love doing it.
So, um, especially since it's COVID and no, I have no comedy shows, you know, that was my main income as a year. But anyway, I thank you, God. Mm. I'm going to have to do a contest or something where I wish everybody, all my subscribers, I wish everybody was from Detroit. Then I can just give y'all one big old dinner party. I would. I love to cook. Mm. Uh. Oh my God, y'all. I am so tired. And this food is just, look at me. Can you stop eating, Mike? See the cherry, the cherry, the heavy cherry. Okay, I can't eat no more. I cannot eat no more. I cannot take another damn bite. Y'all mm. so great. Why y'all so green? Why you so green? Mm, okay. Mm. Mm. Well, I can cook my ass off. Okay, y'all go. My poor C gang, I love poor C gang for life. Cooking, comedy, cussing, and cocktail. I love you guys. Oh, I got the best people. Oh, I got the best subscribers in the world. Oh, y'all hilarious. Oh, y'all will get somebody together. <laughs> y'all got my back. I like that. I got y'all too.